Morning guys. It's Shmew coming at you. Yeah, Pickle Rick. Um I just wanted to make a follow-up video on uh the doobies. I don't want to give any of you young people the wrong idea about these doobies. Um I'm gonna do a multi-part series about my experiences with these doobies because uh it's taken me a while. Let me let y'all see what's going on around here. I'm gonna burn that bad boy tonight. God, I might have had a whole damn world on fire with that rascal. Look at that damn oak tree. That sucker there is 20 some years old. Anyway, let me tell you about these doobies. Every doobie ain't the same. One thing I, I learned over years, even though I was told in the very beginning by my cousins, he said, don't you ever smoke no doobies unless you see what's in it or you roll it your damn self. Because there's some sick people out here, Bo. I don't know why people want to... We call it slipping a Mickey. No, it ain't got nothing to do with my cousin. That was a saying that was out before he come along. One thing about my cousin Mickey. He shoot to you straight. He won't go lie to you. Put some damn... Something in your damn dope. That won't weed without telling you. But some people will. I'm going to tell you one experience I had. I was in New Jersey. Uh... And my sister, she dated a dude. His name was, uh, well, I'm not going to say his name. But she dated a dude. And this dude, he was in college. He was a chemist. Man, nice guy. He was the nicest guy you ever want to meet. And uh, <clears throat> he delivered damn pizzas at the time. Uh, I can't remember who the hell he delivered pizzas for. Domino's. Domino's has been around a long damn time now that I think about it. But anyway, we was uh, in New Jersey, and I was in school up there. Uh, I uh, had a problem here in, in the schools I was at, and I had to go up there to finish up my schooling that one year. Anyway, so Lloyd, he... Uh, I was at my sister's house, and Lord was like, you want to ride with me? I said, heck yeah. So we went over to uh, an apartment where some friends of his were. Bunch of white fellas, nothing wrong with that. So, uh, but they some strange acting men now, I'm going to tell you. Well, anyway, I was like fish out of water, because I ain't been used to, I ain't used to going around a bunch of strangers. That's the truth at that time. Man, it's raining on me. Good God Almighty, going to get my dad going to rifle with Anyway, so I'm like, uh, Lord, who's your friend? He told, introduced me to him, and they said, uh, we're going to smoke some doobage. And I'm thinking, hey, all right, I'm going to get me some, I, you know, um, i tell you what my experience was. I had smoked a lot of doobage up to that point with my cousins, homegrown. We used to go scouting, finding marijuana. We found a marijuana patch one time, man. We had sacks of grass. That's another story. But anyway, so um, I might shine. Yeah, I smoke a joint with you boys. So they roll up a joint, and they must have used, I say they used 10 papers. That joint was about a foot long. And he put it, he pulled out this daggone pipe not no glass pipe lord no i'll tell you a story about that too but no he pulled out a damn long pipe that sucker looked like a damn flute it was about two foot long and it had coils inside of it and on the top is where you put the joint so we put the joint on top of it and uh we all smoked this joint and my first hit i'm talking about immediately when i smoked that joint the damn TV started going down the hallway. I'm sitting there looking at this TV. I'm thinking to myself, I got to be crazy as hell. Am I the only one that's seeing this TV go down the hallway? That damn TV's going down, and I'm squinching my eyes, trying to act normal, and look at this TV. I'm like, that damn TV is sliding back down the hallway. So I'm watching it the best I can. I'm like, oh, God, this is weird. I'm looking at these fellas. And, Bo, I see all kinds of colors. I'm like, oh, Lord. And I can't explain uh, 
what feeling comes about a man well me when i see these colors but it reminds me you know when i used to when i grew up in lake walkmore i said man when i seen them colors i knew it was trouble i said oh god all these dudes i'm like oh shit so i got up i said hey buddy where's your bathroom and it took all i could muster to get those words out he said it over there and he showed me the door. I said, oh, good God Almighty, that door is a long ways away. So I shut my mouth and walked to that door. I said, oh, Lord, let me get to that door. I got to the door and got in the bathroom. I closed the door. I thought I was in the safe place, but I really did. I said, Lord, I'm okay. Then I looked in the damn mirror, Bo. I was staring in the mirror, and there I swear the dude in the mirror was staring at me. His head won't move like my head was. I said, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, them boys are going to give me something that's going to kill me. I'm going to die. Next thing you know, I took my fist and hit myself in the head, man, hard as I could. And I fell on the ground, boat. And I was on the ground in the bathroom just gyrating. I was gyrating on the ground. I can't tell you how long I was on the ground gyrating. I got up off that ground. I went. I said, oh, Lord. I didn't say nothing to them dudes. I just walked out. I walked out of the bathroom. And then I went, got in the damn car. We had a damn yellow Chevette. I sat in that damn Chevette. I swear it must have been, it must have been 100 degrees in that damn thing. But I'll tell you one thing. That heat made me sweat. I said, oh, I said, I'm going to die. I'm sitting in that Chevette sweating bullets. Thinking to myself, that damn Lord and his boys done poisoned my ass. He comes out of the damn house, but I'm in there sweating bullets. I don't know how long he'd been in there. He's like, hey, right, uh, right now you ready to ride? He didn't ask me how I was doing. I said, okay, my done, I done got a damn understanding about this fellow. I said, something is wrong here. I said, Lord, Lord have mercy. That joint had me. I, Bo, I was high as hell. He said, I knew you was, Bo. So was I good God Almighty? He said, what do you think about that love boat? I said, what? He said, what do you think about that love boat? Man, we smoked some love boat. I said, what the hell is Love Boat? He said, oh, man, it's when you take a damn joint and then you uh, you brush him and bomb fluid on it. I said, what in the hell? I didn't say nothing else to that fellow, but I can tell you one thing. I started minding how I was dealing with him from that day forward. And I'm going to tell you another story about that cat. Not right now, but later on. And uh, come to find out. Let me tell you something. You better be careful who you smoke some doobage with because everybody's idea of getting a little buzz ain't the same as yours. And marijuana, anything you smoke, I'm here to tell you, anything you smoke, when you light it up, it changes the chemical composition of that ingredient, man. As a matter of fact, the doobage itself when you smoke it becomes a carcinogen which can possibly be harmful to your lungs and have give you cancer. Now, I don't endorse nobody smoking no bud. But if you are going to smoke it, you best source it yourself, know where it come from, and and take it easy on the smoking of it. You need some good bud. You only need a couple puffs or, better yet, eat it. Put it in a daggone edible. Uh, I don't endorse this. I don't, don't get me wrong, guys. Marijuana has become legal and it's more acceptable. There's... Uh, you need to take your time with it and find out what strand works best for you. It's just like medicine, by the way. You don't go around overdosing on medicine, do you? You don't go eat a whole bottle of Tylenol, do you, Schmiel? You, know, you damn sure don't overdose your bud. Don't overindulge. Nevertheless, be careful who you smoke that shit with because people, they just want to get so high. They want to go outside their brains, boat. I mean, um, anyway, that's that story. I hope, I hope it was helpful. Uh-huh.